preparation that goes in for these meetings um, and I have to confess that instead of doing most of it I went into it. Yeah. So I hope to have um, all the facts and figures about the, uh, this year's uh, funding in two weeks. Um, uh, and that's a treasurer's report. Randy is not interested in being treasurer to the new officers. So maybe you should put it off to everybody's here. No, well, that's not well, here. That's, well, that's, uh, that's okay. Let's vote in. Volunteer. It's the logical choice, and thank you for volunteering, yeah, because right. you're, you're with the Finance Committee, and now we... Well, I see the numbers, and we're constantly going over them, so I might as well... Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to call on the motion to our hall. That's right. Yeah, I'm there often enough. Yeah, and Linda's around often enough, so I can touch base. Um, so the reimbursement was the first round reimbursement <coughs> was originally going to be 11 percent, 11 percent match, but then they put in an extra 10 million dollars uh, in the final budget, so now it's going to be more like 16 percent, and then uh, more for the second and third round. So we don't know exactly what percentage. We're um, what will be our total? Yeah, I, I have to call the treasurer. It's a funny thing because it all depends who you ask and how you ask. Because you can ask three different people in finances and you can get three different numbers. You mean the total amount of local taxes collected? No, but the reimbursement. Especially the older ones. The ones that go back to the 19th and 18th century, they over time they they fall into disrepair. They go basically bleeding. They fall. They get broken. They start falling apart because of the materials. And we like to try to keep them um, preserved and restored as much as possible. And this takes expertise. It takes money. And it takes time. So <clears throat> we're starting to. Um, get organized and to initiate some efforts to do that. And the first step is to come before you folks and we're making two, two separate proposals. One is for the Hockenham Cemetery because we already have in hand uh, some work done by a professional conservator who went through and looked at all the stones, wrote them up, and you have this in your package, um, saying this is what the stone needs, this is what this stone needs, and, get, and it gave us an estimate of, the, of how much their work would cost. And uh, this person actually did some work for Hockenheim for the uh, Villagers Association last year. This is all in 2017. They restored like, one of the larger um, family monuments and, and did this report. Um, and uh, so we're asking to implement this report with uh, a cost of $23,000 from CPA. Okay. Uh, the other request is to do that same kind of an assessment survey that uh, was done for Hockenheim for the other four cemeteries. So we'll know what we have to deal with. I mean, we kind of know, but we, we want a professional um, analysis with some specific recommendations, and we'll have a better idea of uh, what's in front of us. And then with that in hand, uh, we will then, we expect to come back to you next year uh, possibly in a staged manner, depending on how much work there is, to ask for money to implement the actual restoration, similar to what we're asking now for hockey. So we're probably looking at a two to three year spread for getting this work done. Um, that second proposal to do the assessment surveys of the four cemeteries where our estimate is that it'll be about $15,000 to do that. Um, and we're, we're kicking in three from our cemetery funds to do that work as well. So that's pretty, I think that's pretty much the summary of what we want to do. And um, oh, we also have some pictures. I want to take a look at these. This, this is some photos of what, we, and these were taken recently, of the various cemeteries. You can see the, the, the kinds of problems that we have with, 
you know, the things that, that is it Alumni and the Barker ones? There's, uh, there's several hundred mm -hmm. in all the cemeteries that, uh, that need to be basically replanted. Yep. Uh, when uh, the cemeteries got their new fences yep. 10, 12, 13 years yep. ago, uh, with, uh, the stone wall at the Hockenheim oh, yeah. Cemetery was supposed to be Remember rebuilt. That. Yes, <laughs> but there was an issue as to whether it was on town property or private property, and it yeah. could it be resolved? Right. The, 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 Has that been resolved? No, no. But, but the, the issue, and I, uh, we've been looking at that, and it's all in our files. That uh, it was an education to me. The issue, I didn't see that the issue was a property. Uh, issue. The issue was the wall, this is a stone dry laid stone wall, and that's half of it is in bad, bad shape. The other half's okay. Uh, but the issue was, uh, and we actually went to CPA and I think we actually had money set aside. I think you did. And then it turned out that there's a, uh, a, a historical um, speed bump, so to speak, because the wall is evidently was built by the WPA. And it's supposedly the last or the only remaining WPA project in the town of Adley, and it has some historical value. So in order to do it, to restore, to restore it, we'd have to follow, evidently, the Mass Historical Commission's guidelines, whatever they are. And the, the Historical Commission was involved as well as, you know, and, and uh, uh, the last thing I saw was the cemetery committee kind of threw up its hands and said, Historical Commission, you figure it out. Tell us what we have to do. Tell us what the guidelines are, and then we'll go from there. And that's where it basically evaporated. Mm -hmm. So uh, I expect we will revisit that, um, but um, uh, not this year. For but this it's, project, it's still on the it's still on the table. It's, that's this is not for this project. Right, but for you, for this project yeah. that you're proposing, that shouldn't be an issue. No, no, not at all. I mean, to me, the biggest issue with that wall this time is inside is not so much that it's falling apart, which is a positive big issue, but it's too close to the road to begin with. Well, maybe the road moved. <laughs> uh, possibly, but and that, there's no way to solve that because if you move it closer, you're going to get you're going to interfere with the brakes. So, right. yeah, so far, the yeah, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Alan, this is a very thorough presentation. Very thoughtful. Very well done. Well, yeah. no, in order to get past you, you know, it's got to be top yeah. notch. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is, the second phase is, is perfect because we're, we're happy to give people some monies in order to get some accurate figures, and that's exactly what you're doing. So when you come back with the next phase, you're not just throwing darts. You will have something with concrete. Right. I'm hoping to get something like this. The thing that you see for Hakanam, I thought was a really yeah. good job. Mm -hmm. okay. And, uh, um, you know, it's just, just nailed it as far as telling us specifically not just what needs to be done, but what will be done and how they'll document it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I thought it was a good job. Um, obviously, there's no guarantee we'll use that person for the work because we have to go with the bid. But there aren't that many people who do this. Yeah. And this is primarily for Hakanam. Uh, no, the no, first, no, the first, no, the first, the first one, the first, the first one for Hakanam. Uh, the first one and the first uh, four documents. I've, I've got a cover sheet and then a, 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 an attachment page. Yep. And then for Hakanam, there's there's the conservator's report. That's this. Right. And then this is the spreadsheet. The specific for the race and those, and those photos represent Russell. Uh, no, they were they're all they're for all cemeteries. Okay. I didn't organize them by cemetery. Okay. Um, I suggested but, that you break the proposals in two because it's just too confusing to explain the county. Well, this is not. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, two steps and the first step is everything done for the Hockenham. So for Hockenham, they're on phase two, but for everything else, they're on phase one. I just thought split it up and it's just easier to explain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Educate me, if you would, please, the, no. if the property is a private property? No, it's an all common property. You said there's five, right? There's five. And are they all being still used? I mean, they're, Good I questions. mean, still. They are, all, they are active in that we are still burying people, yeah. okay? We're only selling new lots in Old Hadley and in Russellville, okay? The others are closed. Uh, 
primarily because we've sold all the lots or we don't know if there are any lots because you know an old cabin in the store, you know, it's not the store, it's when the 36 flood came through, it wrecked the cemetery. And the gravestones were all over the place and they stuck them back more or less where they thought people were. But you, you go out there, you can see the old pipe, there's big gaps where there's no, there's no gravestones. Well, that doesn't mean there's no bodies. Mm. And we're not about to start digging that sacred ground. Mm. Um, so uh, that part of the center is closed. I mean, we can still put cremations in, in some of the old family lots. We just, we just did two in the Huntington lot. It's been here forever, two cremations. And so we can still do those, but we're not selling any new lots in Plainville. Uh, North Hadley or Hockenheim. So the two that are, you are doing it, is which ones? Russell, Russell? Russell, that's the one in 47. Okay. Twin Sunderland. Yep. And the new part of uh, Old Hadley, which is the eastern part, it's where the, if you go in there, you see some some of the newer type gravestones as opposed to the slate and the limestone and the granite, old, okay. old ones. One bite is gone. One bite is gone. On Cemetery Road. Yeah, on Cemetery Road. Cemetery Road. Road. Not Dump no. Road, Cemetery Road. The one on Cemetery Road. Right, exactly. Okay. And, the, and the other one is by you. And it's, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's up the hill? Right, no, you, right down where the road. Where do you live? Oh, right, uh, Cold Spring. Cold yeah, Spring. Cold Springs. You know Gary Bird. Yes. Yeah, well, Gary Bird is, is the guy. He's, mm -hmm. he's the cemetery man. Without him, I don't know where we take it. Right. That's, that's that one. Yeah. It's that one right there. Yeah, that's yeah. Russell. Oh, yeah. that's, okay. That's, and that, it's kind of small. And it, it is small. Yeah. It is. Huntington is on, obviously. Huntington, uh, that's plain though. Plain though. So, where What's your background? How did you get interested in this committee? You ever heard this? This that's how you, I got into it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm on the library trustee board, okay? okay? So I'm known to some people. And uh, when Newman passed away uh, in 2017, it left a big hole, and things just weren't getting done. And, I mean, the highway department, the Department of Public Works, um, has been doing a lot of the work, but they don't do the stuff that the cemetery committee is doing, which is to deal with the public and to you know, help sell the lots and answer questions and just keep things rolling. So administratively, they, it just fell off the table. So, and, and so Marla was begging, you know, like, can you get somebody on the cemetery committee? So they asked me, and I said, oh, yeah, sure, it'll be for a couple of weeks. <laughs> that was your problem. Yeah, so been, it's been very, very interesting. I really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, uh, Nothing to do with this, but we are all going to go to the town meeting this fall with a Warren article to straighten out the, the responsibilities between the cemetery committee and the Department of Public Works. And if you all know, in 2009, when DPW was formed, they were actually supposed to get well, they are, they're in charge of the buildings and the properties of the town. Mm -hmm. Well, the cemeteries are properties of the town, mm -hmm. but that's the language is a little ambiguous. And then we have the cemetery committee's got um, a mandate in 19, 1928 saying you're in charge of the cemeteries. Well, we really don't want to be in charge of the cemeteries that much, especially when people come and go. There needs to be some professional, mm -hmm. uh, and, and Gary's done been great, but it's like he's going over and above mm -hmm. in his job description. So uh, we're going to straight, try to straighten that out. We've been talking to Marwell and David about what is the right thing to do. We're not going to abolish the cemetery committee. We're still going to be there to help, to advise, to assist, probably still doing stuff like this. But we're not going to have to go out there and uh, dig any holes or mark where the graves are going to go or, you know, and keep the records. The record keeping was really a huge problem because we had, you, we know that. We had five, well, it's probably a pro problem everywhere in town, but yes. the way the cemetery committee was organized, they had five people, each one responsible for a cemetery, and each one would have its own way of business and they'd have the records in their closet at home. I mean, I have them, I still have them in my living room. Not the way to do yeah. business. We resemble that remark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, to get back to the point yeah. at hand, this request is for the Hockenheim Cemetery only the, the, right the, now. The first one is. The first one. There's two requests. One is for Hockenheim. Right. That's the twenty-three thousand dollars. Okay. Right. The, and then, then the assessment. That, that's for the other four cemeteries. Is for the rest. The rest, right? And that's uh, the total is eight. I think it's fifteen. And we're asking for twelve. Okay. That's very good money. I have one, another question, because uh, you, you were telling me which two you still have sites, um, plots. plots for. So how many a year, approximately? Uh, well, I sold six in Old Valley this year. And how many left do you have? We don't know. 
Oh, you don't know. Because I was going to say, it doesn't seem like you have a whole lot left. We're going to run out of space. I would say 50. Okay. Maybe. Mostly in old habit. The other ones, too. Along the eastern fence. Do you have other ones? Yes. We, we have other ones. So. Oh. By the way? The other cemeteries. Like oh, the Holy Rosary, of course. Oh. Yeah, we have nothing to do with them. Okay. Uh, we're a lot cheaper, I will say that. It doesn't cost as much to get buried in the. And that's why uh, I always wanted to go, hmm. See that name? I see that name. Should it be an old war? Holy Rosary? Is it? No. Well, it's two thousand dollars cheaper to bury than a town cemetery. And yeah. and um, you realize, yeah. depending yeah. on our vote, that it's up to you yeah. to sell this at town meeting. Oh, of course, and we're yeah. just. I understand how it works. Just a committee that yeah. says yay or nay. Can we use CPA money for assessments? That's just, that's yeah. 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 Okay. That's why they're saying this. Want to make sure that's all. Yeah. So actually, I, I, one of the things I did just to make sure I was on, you know, uh, down the right path is I looked at what the CPA projects statewide were for cemeteries. There's a lot of them, mm -hmm. not just the two or three that we've done, and uh, and around here close. And I'd say 10 percent of those are assessments. As long you know, as long as we're so far, we've been. It's like doing a plan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, it's yeah. Uh, Amy does bring up an interesting. What about future town cemetery space? Well, um, I that, think it's way off topic. Yeah, no, it's, it's certainly a, it's a it's a good question. It's a and it's a question that's been before the cemetery committee through the years. And what we have to do is go out and buy some more property if that's what the town wants to do. I mean, the town could just say, uh, yeah, "Well, big checks going to see." Yeah, there's no more room in there's, there's no more room in um, Arlington, and they're not. Oh, uh, maybe they will buy some more space, but it'll be across the river. They're not adding to Arlington, and if you want to get buried in Arlington, you've got to get cremated, and they put you in the wall. Um, so we could have a columbarium, although I don't have any problem with it. And we do put cremations in the ground here. We've got plenty of room for that. So if everybody went to cremations, we wouldn't have a problem. We wouldn't be a space problem. But if we went to full bur burial, uh, we might have another 50, maybe. And after that, we'd have to, Hockenham could expand, um, North Hadley could expand, Old Hadley could expand, but obviously you have to have a willing seller. We're not about to, I don't think the town's gonna take any property for cemeteries, I don't think. Um, so it's possible that down the road they, we might do that. Oh, well, one other thing, um, I am going to the historical commission, because I know that that's for historical, um, the category, historical category, I think we are supposed to at least uh, fly this by them. I have talked to them. I, I met with them, but it wasn't an official meeting because they didn't have a forum, I think. So I'm on their agenda for the 28th, and I'll give them the same st stuff. And hopefully they'll say, yes, here's your blessing. So we'll have that for town meeting. I don't know if you need it or not, but I am going for it. town meeting. It would, yeah. it would, it would help just yeah. to cement our so, Well, if, okay, if you're not going to vote on this until after the 28th. Uh, two weeks. I, that's two weeks. Not, yeah, but they, I don't know what the, they may not vote then. They may, I don't know, who knows? So. But they know they know they know what's they know about this and they're not they didn't say what are you crazy? So are there going to be two warrant articles on the town meeting floor? One for the uh, CPA funds for to do an assessment of the cemeteries, and then one for the, the money to fix the hockey cemetery. I, I think, I think, I think two separate there's articles. One, there's one CPA warrant article. Isn't that how they usually do it? Uh, well, no, 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 we can do it anyway. Yeah. Or whatever I, I, I just thought that for explaining it in the town meeting, it's simpler to do it as two. Oh, I understand that, but are we going to have two articles? I think we almost think so. need two articles. Well, That's above my pay grade. So and I think you need to check with David because David, David. when I listened to the select board meeting, the last one, um, I believe he only listed space for one article. Molly brought it up, saying, hey, wait a minute, I think we need another yeah. article, but I think it's for, and she brought it up, and it was for the gazebo. I, oh, I, so, I, I, according I, to I you. I mean, we'll open the room, and I need four. Okay. Oh, okay, so maybe okay. we opened it up. Should I check with, it, Nick, okay. with, with David about the uh, dozen her? No. no. Okay, we'll check with him. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could. We're going to have some of our own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, is the work going to be primarily the older stones, or will there be any more work done on more modern stones? Well, which, which might be the responsibilities of the particular. Exactly, right. There's two things with the 
quote unquote modern. I mean, I don't know how you Recent. define that. But um, generally speaking, if someone put the stone in um, a year or two ago, or even five or 10 years ago, and they're still around, and there's something wrong with the stone, go see Dorsey Memorials or, or you know, you fix it. Um, so no, we don't, we don't, that we don't, we, we actually technically, we're not responsible for the stones at all. We don't, it's not perpetual care, although we're finally making that clear in our regulations. But you know, uh, these are cultural historic resources, the older ones. So yeah, for Old Hadley, there's three sections. There's the real old section, the 1720 section. Founders. Founders. And that's where most of the restoration work up to now that Fred Oakley spearheaded has been done. Then, and there's the newer section, which is over on the east, which is over um, on the eastern side. And that's where the new monuments are. There's a middle section that's the 1908 section, and that's basically 19th century stones. That's where we're going to do this work. And those are, they're not the oldest, but they are old. And, uh, and then the other cemeteries, yeah, it's the old stones we're going to be concentrating on, ones that have been there for quite a while and they're, you know, some of them are dangerous, actually. And can you talk a little bit about the possibilities for public outreach or public involvement in the process? Well, um, one of the things we're going to do is nothing that's, we're not asking money for it. We thought about asking money, but it's not that much money. It's $2,000. We're going to do, um, and I hope to do it this fall, um, a training workshop. Uh, these conservatives will, will come out, and, and they've done it once in Hadley 15 years ago. They come out and they're trained, basically people like Gary Berg or the, you know, the town DPW, the cemetery committee, anybody who's interested, volunteers, in how to identify you know, what the problems are with gravestones, and also to actually do restoration. There's some stuff that can be done by the town. Not a lot, but there is some. It's the simple, just straightening up the Gravestone, there's a certain technique you can do. You need some certain equipment, which we have sort of, still have some around. But there's some work you can do, and, and also the, the, uh, the caretakers for the cemetery. The, the, the two caretakers, they've been they've expressed interest in doing this, but they need to be trained. We just don't go out and mess, in fact, you can't. We need a permit, actually, technically. So we need to get a permit to do this work because for the historic gravestones. That should be no problem, it's, it's pro forma, but we'd still need to do it. You just don't send anybody out there, go, go dig up the gravestone and put it back in, although some people have done that. Uh, we want to do it right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to have a training workshop for probably half a dozen people. And we'll publicize that because people think I'm going to watch it. That's not part of it. But it's not part of this thing. But it will be down the road, it'll be part of what we're doing because uh, some of the stuff, if they say, here's 50 stones, gee, you can do these 10 yourself if you have trained people. So we won't need to come back, although we might want to use that as our matching uh, in-kind kind of uh, uh, work. Okay, so um, as far as public outreach, I don't know, we're working with the Girl Scouts to do what they put the flags out for us. They, they're they going to be doing some record keeping for us, that kind of thing. Is that what you're getting at? I, I just think that um, the more you involve the community, the more likely you are to receive funds. Yeah, well, I would love to involve the community. I'd love to get somebody. Uh, to be on the cemetery committee. We, we don't have anybody from North Hadley. It's, you, know, it, you know how it is. It's very hard to get people, mm -hmm. busy people, uh, to serve on. It's usually the same three or four people who <laughs> serve on these boards. And uh, that's, that's really what you need. We want community involvement. They need to be on the boards. They need to be helping. Like you guys are. And, you know, we're trying to do it. But we can't get the full board all the time. Any, any other questions? So or? someone that, well, just because, uh, that in case everybody's watching, Someone, so you need someone on the board for the um, for North Hadley. Yep, yep. What would what would be what, what would they be doing? I mean, is, what, what can they expect? Well, it's so a lot's going to depend on how much DP, this goes into DPW. Sure. But basically, when people call up saying, "Hey, I bet uh, I bet Aunt Lily is, needs to be buried, and, she, and the family is in Plainville, is there is there a deed? Is there a plot there? Well, we can go look at the records and we can tell them." Yeah, oh yeah, the family's got a deed and here's the record. Mm -hmm. Or if someone wants to know where their great-great-grandfather is buried, you can up and find it. Uh, if someone wants to buy a plot, uh, th they call DPW, but DPW then calls me, and then if it's, uh, you know, Hakanama, I'll call them or Buckhout or, you know, uh, whoever the cemetery person is, and they'll, they'll do the legwork. And 
prepare some of the paperwork. So it's, mm -hmm. it could be selling lots, which is, which is a little bit technical, not very hard though. Um, and doing the historical record search. Um, doing an inspection while walk through the cemeteries. We do a yearly inspection, we write it up. Okay, this fence is broken, the tree needs to come down. You know, this gravestone's on the ground. And uh, so volunteers can do, or the cemetery committee can, can do that work. And, uh, so they kind of stop at, uh, some of that. Do they, does that, would that person completely be volunteer or is that? Yeah, it's totally volunteer. No okay. stipends whatsoever. We don't do stipends, do we? No, 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 no a lot, so, a lot just, of cities just, in towns don't do stipends. No, no. no most, most don't. Most it's the love of the town. Mark will gladly take photographs and put everything online so we'd be able to categorize them that way and go. Yeah. <laughs> that seems to be my brother to some of I know, I know. <laughs> we, we actually do have, um, and this was one of the things that was done back in 1999, I think. Mark doesn't have anything to do, so you've to with your inscriptions. And they're in these <laughs> multi volume uh, for Plainville, I'm sorry, Russellville, and Old Hadley, but they're not digital. Uh, they were digital, but they were such an old uh, software, yeah. floppy disks. Can't use them. Gotta get a scan. Yeah, we. That's one of the girls that's going to help us with scanning. Yeah. Any, any other questions? No. Nope. Nope. All right. Thanks for your time. All right. We'll Thank, take you. Thank you. Thank you. Grab these pictures back, yep. and we're going to vote in our next meeting in two weeks. Do you want me here? Which um, is be nice. Eight. Okay. Sure. What is it? What's two weeks? Eight. Seventeen. Uh, I wrote it down. Six. Wrote it down on the calendar. Eight. eight Fourteen days. So it's a twenty. That doesn't interfere with the planning board, does it? So they meet on Tuesday. They meet on Tuesday. I know. Tuesday. This is about them. Uh, you, uh, it could be you. It could be somebody else. We're going to meet tomorrow. Twentieth. Okay. Twentieth. Okay. Is it? Is it yes. Monday? Monday. Is Monday. Okay. Monday. All right. I'll make a note. I'll be here. Thanks, folks. All right. Thank, thank you very you. much. All right. Tim, you're up. Mind if I sit down there? Please. Thank you. I was hoping some other people would be here, but I guess I'm the only one that showed up. Uh, just give you a little history of how this all started. Some of you are aware that there used to be a uh, walking tour that you could buy for West Street, and they'd like to resurrect that again. The historical commission is more modern. We haven't sold those things for a long, long time. So the thought was to put up these uh, information boards around on West Street. But then they wanted, then they started talking about probably doing something as a dual purpose. And that's how all this kind of morphed into a gazebo. Um, so I was, I was asked by Molly to uh, help them out trying to figure out how you know, what type of zero would be nice, the uh, prices and whatnot. And that's how I got involved. So the primary focus was to get information out on West Street about the history of Hadley, about the houses on, on West Street. That would bring people into Hadley more and to utilize West Street. Uh, Western Commons a little bit. With that, they, they then started talking about what else could they do on, on the Commons to utilize the Commons more. And that's how the concert idea started, uh, bringing in, and then wanted to bring in lecturers on you know, historical portions of Hadley. So the size of the, the gazebo came about by talking to Eddie Foreman and so on getting his expertise on what we could, what size would be good for concerts and lectures and so on. So that's how this all started. Who, who's making the presentation? I'm sorry? I, I know you're making the presentation. Historical. Where, where are they? I don't, I don't know. We were, as the other, there was a historical committee I mean, a historical meeting, and they didn't have enough um, members show up, so it's been postponed until the 28th. 
And that's, that, that, excuse me, I, but I, that's who I thought was making the presentation, but 10, 15 years ago, there was a similar proposal and the historical commission was entirely against it. Well, we have a new commission. Now, well, they, 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 exactly, yet they don't meet, so. Uh, well, it is, a, it is true, uh, Joe. It's unfortunate that uh, these days it's very difficult to get people to come to some of these meetings, especially in the summertime. And uh, we also have seen that happen. But the hope is that uh, we'll, we'll get more input on the 28th. So I'm just back at, at, just to tell you what we want to try to do. Um, the, the price tag we put in as an estimate of 125,000. I still have yet to get, and here's, here's the problem with doing something like this. This is what we're doing. So if you need to see these. So if somebody wants to do something like this and, and to be able to go out to bid, you know, for anything like this, you have to go out to bid. So you can, you, then you solicit and try to figure out who does this type of, uh, on these, these gazebos. And you get some prices, but we have to have somebody to erect it. So how do you get that without going out and asking companies to do it? So that's where I am right now. I'm trying to, I'm, Talk to some local successful larger commercial contractors to see if they can give me some idea how much this would cost. This is a kit. It's all metal. It's all powder coated. There's going to be a, hardly any maintenance on this thing for years. Okay, which is the good thing. It's a shingle, you know, shingle roof. I'm sorry. Shingle roof. It's actually. It's it's a full plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. So. Do you know uh, where this photograph is from? As you said, it's actually from uh, a gazebo that was built in, I believe, Illinois. Is this from the company's website? Or? Yes, it's from their catalog, and the comp There's a national company called Icon that is very large in the United States that does a lot of uh, this type of structure for municipalities. They do everything uh, from the little, tiny little uh, information boards that you see when you go to, even to the railroad station and stuff, to massive, huge pavilions of hundreds of feet in diameter. So they do everything. One of the better companies only because they've been around for a long time and nobody can compete against the prices. But with everything, we have to go out to bid and we'll do everything that's needed to be done. But uh, this is the one. This is a company that uh, we got to do the pavilion over at the um, elementary school, which which we now have. And hopefully, if this weather ever turns, we can get things rolling and get that thing erected. I was, I, I was going to say, you wanted your update to you can do that yeah. tonight. So I can do that too. Yeah. But, um, but Andy probably, I can have more technical questions. I mean, this doesn't look like 125,000. Uh, There's a big concrete okay. pad. <laughs> All right. So uh, on the next, you'll see on the second page, it's the, the kit itself is around 60. Four thousand dollars. We we downsized it slightly from the thirty feet to about a ten percent reduction per per um, two feet. So we're at sixty-four thousand dollars for the kit. We have to put a concrete slab and we have to put electricity in. The other issue is again is for the uh, for the informational signage that we want to do. So there's a lot of discussion how we're going to possibly set that up. The thought right now is the, that's an eight-sided pavilion. Each side is about 10 feet. So take three of those sides and put these educational boards up. And they might even protrude out slightly. But the idea is to 
all the information in regards to the houses along West Street. We can put that on these informational boards. We can put any, any type of information that we want historically about Hadley on these informational boards. And we have one destination point for everybody to go to. And of course, that shows off West Street Commons, which is something that is extremely unique in this country. We're the only ones that still have one like this. But it gives it a, a specific point that, that we can tell people to go to to get the general information of Hadley, of houses, and a lot of any other information that we want to do. These informational boards, I think the only way we can get all this information is have some type of electronic message there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some, some type of button that you press and you can get more information or a touch screen. You know, the touch screens are horrendous. Uh, but those are the thoughts. You just put a, um, uh, what you call it, it's like a barcode. Mm -hmm. Take press. a picture of it with your cell phone and it brings you to the So do we know where this is being proposed? It's good. We know it's going to be on the north side of Route 9. Now, some of the members want it between Route 9 and the bike path. But there's a lot of trees there, and that minimizes other uses of the gazebo. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people say they want it on the north side of the bike path. But then there's other people who say, well, you're going to put it there, it's going to be in the hot sun. So that really, we know, I can tell you for a fact right now, it's going to be on the north side. Okay. But I don't know precisely on what side of the bike path it's going to be on. Okay, the other question is, that I have is, is, you mentioned that there was going to be, it's going to be electricity. Yes. How, who's going to foot the bill for that? The, the town. I mean, the way it would be handled is, you, you go right off the grid, there would be a, a meter, that, and the, that meter is specifically for this, and there would be DPW will regulate it like most of the other buildings. Okay, now the other question that is just becoming an issue in Greenfield, there's, the Greenfield has a small town common. It's being occupied by tents and homeless people. Totally different of what we're talking about. I would say but I are, is the town of Hadley going to be able to keep people out of that, out of this structure? Because they say we're, we're we don't have a place to live, so I mean, this no, is town property. Anything else? No trespassing sign. You're not allowed there. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I think that's a something that uh, it, it, it's nothing to do with this discussion. But if somebody camps there. Of course the police will tell them to please move. But can they legally do Of that? course they can. You put a no trespass sign up. But yes, then if, can. if there's a no trespass sign, if I want to go see what's happening and if I wanted to see what the history of the West they, Street Commons... But the no trespass sign is between the hours of so-and-so and, -so and no okay. sleeping here. Okay. I mean, it would be very specific okay. to that. <laughs> Come on. Well, so, well no, it's, it's, it's an issue. Why, does, why didn't Greenfield do that? They have a different problem. They have a different problem. Than they, 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 we did actually discussed that yeah. on the side of um, what's we'll happening up there. We'll, we'll, we'll go around with everybody. Go well, I was, this of course brings to mind the success of the South Hadley Cup um, on the companies. They had one that they put together for the 250. Um, one thing that they did, though, to help raise funds is they sold uh, placards put in the, the, the structure inside and outside the gazebo. So if you walk around that gazebo, which by the way they have live music every uh, they have live concerts Thursday nights at from like six to eight uh, during the summer. And it's really a, you know, they fill up the common space. And that common space by the way is not big. No, I mean, South Hadley is a lot bigger town yeah. than that. So yeah. we don't need to think that we're bringing in the who here. Mm -hmm. But um, the, uh, I'm dating myself for that reference. But 
they raised an awful lot of money to pay for that through private donations, a lot, a lot. So you know, buy a and what have. And, and, uh, I think that's certainly one way to defray the costs. They have their electric meters, and you know what? They don't have a homeless problem with smack in the middle of the cotton mm -hmm. meters out there. I didn't. I didn't think it was a problem until they started seeing it on the news and reading it about it in the paper. I think that I think it was an issue. Uh, there's there's a political issue on that. I'm More sure than there than is, than but than anything that happens but, in Hadley is political. In, in any event, if you if you you're familiar with the one in South Hadley Commons, and you see the size of the venue there, it's actually relatively small. There's pavement on all sides, so um, it's only one side that people put their chairs right into. Mm -hmm. Extremely small and it really it fills up though, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. But my, my point is, we don't need to go crazy thinking that we're going to be bringing in these very large venues. I mean, are we trying to supplant the young men's club? I wouldn't think so. No, but those are going to be you know, big venues for for those types of things. But this this is going to be uh, that would be the size of any form and span and things like that. I mean, that's what people are looking at. Those type of Type of you'll need a dance floor? <laughs> I'm just trying to help them out on the PC. No, but, but you know, they, and they do that uh, when they're the Taste of Amherst. They have uh, a, a band set up in their area that they play in is not very large. So I guess my point is, I keep coming back to it, is that you know, space required for the gazebo and then its audiences is, uh, we're not talking about north of the bike path to Cemetery Road. It doesn't have to be that big. It's certainly smaller. Now, the, 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 one of the reasons of the size is for the lecturers more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Where people can be under there and have a lecture also. And, you know, they're talking about bringing the, uh, the kids over to get them to learn about. Oh, yeah. I certainly see opportunity there for us. And there's a lot that we're looking at. Any questions? Yeah, first of all, I'm disappointed the Historical Commission is proposing this, yet no one from the Historical Commission is here, number one. Number two, is this going to go next to the uh, fountain that had the similar presentation 20, 30 years ago that doesn't work? And we can't maintain the buildings that we have in town now, and yet we're, we want new, new, new. Uh, it, it's like, let them eat cake. Meanwhile, we're ignoring the, uh, the old library, Russell School, uh, the town hall needs painting. Well, we're just ignoring these things. I don't think we're and, ignoring Joe. Yeah, well, let me yeah, just yeah, finish. Yeah. Please, yeah. I think I think and, you're wrong. And, and we the other point is too, over you're talking about hundred thousand dollars into the. Yes, we ignored them for a very very long time, and that's why the townspeople required the select board to have a municipal building committee. And we have put over eight hundred thousand dollars into these buildings. And we are turning the corner on a lot of it. We have a long ways to go. You got you. When, why? I'm, why don't you finish one project first? North Hadley Hall. I mean, yet you, you want something new. It's it's like uh, it, you it's know trying to distract us from our real. You problem. know exactly what happened in North Hadley Hall. Well, and that's back on the table, and we're going to fix that issue. When you have. At the eleventh hour, you always have this one person that that kind of derails everything and tries to put it in a different direction. Well, that's that's the leadership. If the leadership could take take the bull by the horns from the select board or from somebody, they can get it done. And the other thing is, any uh, toilet facilities. You're going to have concerts there. You're going to bring porta potties on all the time. I mean, Eddie Foreman gives a concert for the senior citizens here once a year. You're going to have a new senior citizen building, maybe. But uh, uh, that would be an ideal place for it to be. You've got electricity, you've got water, you've got uh, uh, toilets. Uh, I, these are these are these are not foolish it, questions. I don't. They're logical questions. I don't. 
feel a groundswell of popular opinion. I mean, if there's any historical aspect in town that is not that people don't recognize, it's walking the dike. I don't think I ever go by the end, north end of West Street without three or four cars being parked there and people walking the dike. That is a great historical feature, yet we don't even uh, talk about it. But, uh, so, I, first of all, I, the, if we're going to have a historical a commitment from the historical society, they should be making the presentation. Huh? Historical committee, commission. Historical committee, yeah. Commission. They should be making the presentation. Not the society. Not the historical society. Yeah, right. Okay. Because these, um, this is sort of a mini reversal for what happens in town meeting. People in town meeting are going to raise these issues. So it's just having answers and a lot of people do want to see something start happening on uh, West Street Commons. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's uh, how about the something that's very underutilized. How about the people who live on the Commons? That was, my, that was where I was going to go with my question. Okay, do I want to bring up parking? Are you going to let them park on the common for the concerts? Uh, I'm, I'm not interested. Well, you're the, you're the messenger, and we can shoot the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll add that the South Hadley Gazebo, it took a while for them to get organized and get themselves off the ground. There were years that nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it, but like so many other committees, it comes and goes depending upon the active few that are behind it. And right yes. now, it's an inactive phase. But, well, I, you yeah. know. Especially the historical. Well, I mean, that was a very, had very good question. What do the people on, on West the, Street feel? Yeah, the people that live there. Oh, we, I didn't know if, you, if anybody went out and talked to them about it. I can tell you that from the Park and Rec Commission standpoint, we've talked about a few different events there, and that, that is a concern if you're bringing in a, a louder venue. Yeah. The Memorial Day right Parade, there. for example, it ends on the West Street Commons, and there's barbecues and cookouts well, who, and everything. Who has the authority to give the Asparagus Festival? The Select Board, don't they yeah. give the, they they give they the uh, permits? permits. Right, and there's been each each year it gets a little bit more defined on how we're going to handle it because they're they're growing and yeah. they're, and we did have a pretty well. Good somebody time. is making a lot of money on that thing, and uh, do we get taxes out of it? Do, what's those, Joe? That's a very good point, and that's the primary reason that there was a meeting on it uh, because. You know, the town spends a lot of money on the resources to have that venue happen, and you know, the TV. And they turn around and charge the town to have a Well, that's not going to happen anymore, and that, yeah, exactly. that, that money's going to be reimbursed. Mm -hmm. That was, um, yeah, there, there was, there's a lot and of the maintenance, there. the maintenance is going to be critical. I can see people spray painting that. Are they having spray paint the uh, yeah, bell? And that the was the first thing that was stated um, when we put up the belt memorial. And it's going to be spray painted, everything's going to be trashed. That hasn't happened. Yeah, I didn't anyway, hear that. Any, anyway, anyway, okay. you know, the one thing that, and, because um, the, there, it, there was a mention that you're going to have venues, perhaps Eddie Foreman, perhaps somebody else. So why is this a historical request, not a recreational? It could be both, but most of it's primarily historical in nature for the, uh, to get the information out on, on Hadley and to have a lot of historical lectures. That's what the historical commission. I don't think so. Is this? I think it's two different projects actually. Yeah, is this promoting economic that. development or why do we want to draw people in? Don't well, you want some, some people? people some come? people like community. Yeah. <laughs> I think that it's yeah. a value. Of it, so. no, I, you need something to bring people together. In this town. The, they have a little over across at Hopkins uh, gazebo, right? That's I the mean, bell on The bell, yeah. And I remember going last winter, we went there, and Eddie Foreman was there. We did the caroling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we needed some you put walls or need something else for information, maybe we could do it there too. Is it more of 
or do something. I'm just saying well, it, 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 it seems to have. Some, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I just think of it similar. similar. So the, the, it's a little smaller, but the impetus of this project is coming from select board or a select board member or members? no, it's really from the historical. Well. Just one well, thing uh, before I forget, Tim. Uh, uh, you know, I heard they want to pave over the ball field uh, and put a parking lot. Uh, just remember, you're on the, uh, the building committee. The high school, and someone was talking about it when we were talking about the ball fields, they're going to want a new school pretty soon. And they were looking in that area, uh, utilizing some of that area for the new high school. Can't. That's in the floodplain. It's, it's, you could take the compensation fill we're going to have from the ball field and put it there and it would be fine. It doesn't matter. What, what's the level for that ball field? I think, I don't think it is, it, it, if it's west lane it's about a foot, foot and a half. They just reset the, um, uh, the federal. The marker, the marker is on Russell School. The marker is on Russell School that we all need to sit on. Yeah. So how are they going to put a parking lot there if it's floodplain? They're going to strip. Let's, let's, let's not get too no, no, no. I just want to remind him uh, because he's on the building committee. The other, the other, okay. the other thing that um, I I've been thinking about this a lot, and it you're you're coming forward for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. And then white check. Okay, that we can reduce that. Okay, now that's the purpose is, of construct. Is that the total project? Because we've historically only given eighty percent. So are you asking for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, and it's really going to be one hundred forty-three? And then, or are you asking the whole project is going to be one hundred twenty-five thousand, and eighty percent is a hundred grand? Well, that's why I was hoping when the select woman would be here to talk to. Right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take a cue from Joe and just make a statement that it seems to be a disturbing trend I see in town now, where a committee or somebody asks for money to get the project started. And then they say, "Oh, wait a minute! Now we don't have enough. Well, we already got it started, so we need more money now," and that's going to be happening more and more. It happened with the senior center. That was started. It's just the problem is that when and it's going to happen in North Family. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but that. it's not going to go away. Well, we all know it's not going to go away. Part well, of the issue is to, part of the issue is we're moving the speed of government. And when when what's the uh, estimated uh, inflation rate on construction projects? Right now, four four percent a month. Four percent a month. Four percent a month. What? So when you take what was the question? Maybe the what inflation rate on on commercial construction right now is four percent, and it's probably going to go up with the tariff per month. So per month. Well, that's the prevailing wage. That's no. That's not just prevailing wages. No, that has to do with materials and everything else. Yeah, that's but that's what, that, that's known at this point, and, and you know that, and you're stating that. So when people present projects, they should they should have that in mind. And, and so when, oh, we, great, have, when we have a number, we, we, should have, we, we, should, we should have to go back because we thought of it. The, the, the problem, problem that, that you, you know, we'd love to talk to you about offline. But <laughs> yeah, there's, and that's something that everybody's discussing because, you know, the way the, the last projects went aren't, aren't the best way to handle a project. You need more help upfront information before you bring forward everything. But only the way up, the only way to do that is to get some money to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we I think what has happened on these last seven projects, well give us a reason to bring forward some money to look at a project reasonably because that that's the real real pick up with the way things have happened in the past. And I don't, I think that what, what the, the last couple of few projects is we've, we've come and say, hey, we want to build such and such 
this is kind of what we're looking at with square footage and the design. And there's an estimate given. But then when you get a little bit further down the road and you start getting into the nitty gritties of everything, the price always goes up because everybody's looking for this or that and everything else. That's been our problem. So I don't think that, that it's, it's been done purposely on Sure, but the schools seem to have done what we... Because they can. Well, then no, the school came and they said, well, uh, they presented us with something and like the numbers aren't there, so that we're, they were given a budget to go get the correct numbers. Yes. And so, yeah, if you have a project and you want to say, okay, do you think this might go? If you're feeling, can, can I have some money to, to go do my research? I can understand it. That doesn't mean that, you know, that's still going to pass, but I understand what you're saying. You need to do more research before you can get firm numbers. And the last one for the school was the uh, HVAC. And that went up only because it wasn't, and this is what the big problem is a lot of these things. Yeah, if you look at um, putting air conditioning into a building, but well, do you have enough energy, enough power into the building to do that? And it, it gets complicated in how you handle that. And that's one of the reasons that for project, that's, that's a good analogy, it went up pretty significantly. I think I'll just double that after the whole thing. Start to finish. Is the Park was supposed to have concerts, and uh, you realize too, if CPA money goes into this thing, uh, could be rented out to anybody in the community. Is that a bad thing? It's a bad that thing. That it could be UMass fraternities. No it doesn't have to be only Hadley. We don't have a long calling list yet. <laughs> There's no way to do it. But anyway, so I, anyone else? No. Well, I have a couple of comments and suggestions, some of which I shared with you already. Um, I think we need more information. The committee's got to decide where it's going to be and do a map and show us where the where the museum is. That, that's the first thing. Want a piece of paper? No. Oh. I'm, okay. I'm actually, you know, at this point, I'm bound out of this. This stuff, it, this is too complicated. So somebody else can handle this right now. I'm sorry. Okay. You guys can do your own thing. Well, I think that is a good looking good point. We need to know where it's going to go. And we need to know that there's going to be a, a 50 foot water line or a 200 foot water line. This was so. It was so poorly presented. I, 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 in his defense, it doesn't sound like he had a lot of information. No. So that means it's it's dropped. The gazebo. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. Okay. It's dropped. Okay. I mean, you know, when, when he sent the draft proposal to me, that's one of the things I said. Yeah. Uh, they got it mm -hmm. But it doesn't. That's irrelevant. Alan Weinberg did a terrific job. What's, what's next? So what about the Housing Authority? Uh, Are they doing anything? No. This okay. Huh? Okay. Are Is there any right? last yeah, yeah, the applications? Yeah. No. It's okay. Put the presentation no, no, to us. Uh, okay. Okay. What's next? I mean, I, I just think that um, we didn't have enough information. I agree. And it's not, you know, if, if money. The sponsoring organization should be. Yes, and yes, money is coming out of the town's coffers. Okay, I get that. I know. But I think we were doing an, a disservice to the taxpayers of the town of Badly by just saying, oh, yeah, go build it. Here's, here's some money. That's yeah. incorrect. Well, I'm sorry. We have money. We shouldn't be necessarily just stepping in. Thank you. I'm glad somebody else gets that. I also think one doesn't go at a time. Mm -hmm. I think you would have an easier time for the second one. The first one can have okay. And didn't we just put a pavilion in? in the, it's in, in the Hadley Elementary School? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what yeah. you said. It's there, but they can't build it yet. Well, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're signing it. 
in the concrete setting for mm -hmm. And then there, there's supposedly a, um, a, a work weekend plan for the 25th of the month. When does school start? It must start like the, the next. first day of school? Yeah, it's, it's like the. the, the this year? No. Uh, no. Before. before first yeah. August first day of school. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's the twenty ninth. Or is it close? You okay. can leave in a huff, but you don't get in. Right. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. Let's talk a little bit about the CPA plan. Uh, we have to vote to accept. He was supposed to email out the final draft. Uh, he did. Yeah, you know, it was basically the changes that we suggested. Here. And so no, and we're, supposed, we're supposed to update the plan every year. So yes. even if there's something in the plan that you don't like, we can just change it. Next year. But what when they present something to the planning board, we always ask for a hard copy. So every member gets a hard copy. Don't put it online, and then we can read through it. Public vote on it. There were a number of changes that were specific to our preparation that I absolutely wanted to make sure we were. That's See, I got my copy. Yeah, I've <laughs> is, that the, is that the updated one? Is that the updated one? This is this, no, this is the master, Kathy yeah. Master. Okay, plan. okay. Yeah. I well, thought Joe would be pleased that I got oh, the master plan. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's a, that whole master plan. No, we did a nice, really good thick one that we still got the best out. Oh, I still have the survey. That one was. I don't know. Maintaining the agricultural atmosphere. Who gives a shit? Yes. So do people feel we're not ready to vote on a CPA plan yet? I would make. Well, I would. I would make the suggestion to see more about more of the committee here. We, 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 he took a lot of notes, but I'd like to see the revisions to make sure that they're in before they. And he's right. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. So next meeting, we will put it up. Do we have? Do we have to wait for the uh, distribute that? cemetery request uh, for funding? You want to wait for two weeks? I'm ready to vote on it now. Well, I'd like to have everybody. Here. They're yeah. supposed to be well, here. Well, what if we? What if we don't have a quorum? You got a hot date that night? Well, then we're in trouble. You ran the risk tonight. <laughs> you uh -huh. did, though. We got a quorum now. That's why. I no, I would. I I would like to see if the other members would be interested in having some input. No, if they don't come, then we're up against the eight ball for presenting it in to the town meeting. We have to reschedule for uh, next week later, but we still have. We'll have our our um, placeholder more articles, and still have time to get that in. Mm -hmm. We just I, have to I reschedule. Will, I, I will try to write some up and have some drafts to present. You have access to the town's photocopy, yes? Uh, I just ask. They just ask, and I'm just some thinking if you were the, the, the CPA draft plan, that would be a burdensome thing. To, yeah, I to really don't want to print that sucker out. No, I'm, I'm going saying to you can send it over to um, town hall and have maybe Jim or somebody print it out. That's always been an issue because the way the copier in town hall works is the Tom has a number, you enter the number, and then the paper is billed towards the Tom Yeah. Or the select board and everything like that. Hey, can I make a copy? Well, what number do you got? I don't know. Oh, well, well okay, can, I can guess build so. CPA, right? For yeah. the, for the no, they, nobody has in the past, but we've never done such a large printing. Would, would everybody like to have a hard copy? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. So that's Yeah, I need to want one for the record. <laughs> well, one for the record would be after everybody is sure that we're going to amend it soon. So we might have to have another meeting to decide in two weeks. What's, what's the date? The 20th. 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 Monday. Monday. You know, it, it might seem like it doesn't make sense, but we do have other things to talk about. Uh, voted for officers. And, uh, so, uh, so I think the, 
the two meetings two weeks apart, I think, is how we've done it. Yeah. Um, I, that makes sense. Uh, we have a little while to think about it. I mean, it's true, the projects now are pretty straightforward, but sometimes they're more complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, not necessarily, they're not always going to be this easy. Yeah, so this is, it sounds to me like this will be all we're submitting for this town meeting is just a cemetery. Correct. Yeah. Well, and, that, and then the one, and this one is the 23, and I was looking, where's, and so the total of the two. Is the 5,000 for the, uh, 15,000 15, for the assessment. So, okay, thanks. So 15,000, 23. 23 and 20. Yeah. 15. And he's still, it's, yeah, he's asking some real close to 80%. It's a yeah. fre freckle over, but that's okay. It depends if you include the, um, the assessment for Hawkeye, which I already did. Yeah. If you include that in the total then you need to mm -hmm. um, The other thing I'd like to do at the next town meeting is to uh, officially vote to claw back the money for the only um, uh, The electrical uh, work? Yeah. Yeah, but that won't have to go into a, a, an art special article or anything. You just have to, that will be. Well, well that's, how we, they that's were, how we've done it in the past. Really? Because if David does that, I, we get one article that says, oh, return this to this bucket, return this to this bucket. It's there's right. a bunch of them. There's yeah, a list. Does he do a house cleaning? A house cleaning. It, right. thing, but it, I mean, this. Why can't that be part of it? Uh, in, the, in the consent portion? Yeah. No, it could be, but we just have to write it and submit it. Uh, and he's not too thrilled about it. Why? Um, he said, well, we could use that money for the library. And I said, well, and you come forward, you make another proposal. You know, the board article says the money is given to the library trustees to do the electrical in the library. And the trustees said they're not going forward with the project, so we have to take the money back. Correct. Right? Yes, absolutely correct. And the way it was explained to me from Linda Sanderson, Lisa, Linda, Linda, that the committee okayed the expenditure. We didn't give them a check. Right. So we still have the money. The it's general consensus at Town Hall is that why are you asking it back? Asking for it back because you never gave it to us. You just kind of earmarked it for us. As long as the money hasn't left the fund, then, then the really is an issue. I think it's in its own account. It's in its own separate little slot. It's like an outstanding check that we keep carrying all the time. And we don't know if, because Andy's going to come back with some, with some figures. And it's going to say, okay, there's this much money in the CPA account. This much was state, this much was town. Oh, this we voted on to expend last year. This we voted to expend two years ago or whatever. And so we have to kind of subtract that from the total because we don't know if the individual that we, or the people that ask for the money are going to take it. But, it, yeah, it's, but it's just like anything else. It's a housekeeping it's article. It's a housekeeping yes. article. Like, uh, we uh, agreed for this fire truck for this amount of money. Well, it came in cheaper. So we didn't actually have to spend that money because right. it came in cheaper. But he still has to move the money right. from one to the other and say that's and finish it and make well, it go thank away. Thank you. So that's a big reason why the building should be trying to get the, the building budget, trying to shove that all in the way. Because there's all these town more articles for this roof and that thing. When one project would come in a little bit lower, the other one would be a little, a little bit high, you have to go back to town meeting to have the money moving on. It's just well, like only possibly difficult to maneuver things when you're talking about fixing, you know, painting the side of a building or Well no, if you're gonna put a new roof on on a building and you appropriate fifty thousand dollars and it comes in at forty six thousand dollars, then at the next town meeting you say Given, given your, given the town four thousand dollars back. Right. So what? Well, the point is, it should be two hundred fifty thousand dollars to do building maintenance around town. Large capital projects are something completely different, than, like like roofs and additions. No, and so no. But, but in what? this, but in this case, the Warren article says the 
money will be given to the library trustees for this for purpose. Right, no, I, I agree. What I'm saying is, and I agree with, 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 with Amy as well, but I think that that money should be reeled back. And weren't we writing a letter? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did write a letter. I wrote the letter to the library trustees, and they said, well, we're not going to have anything to do with this anymore. So, so, now it's a so it's to up to the library. library. Well, it's a letter to Linda. No, it's just David needs to put it on the warrant. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's one of our. We have to write a warrant, a warrant out of the language. Yeah. Do we now have? We have now that one. Yeah. And and there are other articles that are like that. That's all we're saying. It's not just the library. There's other articles. I don't. So then you could. If you're now you're lumping them in and you can enumerate them from any the, on the article, you're saying it's leftover money from I don't know those stair rail in front of yeah, there or, might yes, or the the it was, it was only thirty five hundred dollars the historical spent on the five thousand dollars for the um, the um, gauges telltale gauges, mm -hmm. or the one for the North Hadley Foundations that money was never spent, right? All those you could you just got it. But, if, but if, if you were to list them out in an article, yeah, and have that done, and then be done. With it. Yeah, that's fine. I agree with you. In order to do the proper amount of bookkeeping for a business, or you know, even for your home, if you want to know what you're spending, that's what you should do. Am I right? Am I off in left field? A little no. bit. No. Not always. No, you're going to help me. <laughs> but no, but you know, if just to defer to Amy, she knows how it's, it's supposed to be done. You're in the squash field, and she needs to keep the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, um, but the presentation back to the cemetery presentation the fact that they're going to have an analysis before they request for money it's it's what we have, we're trying to do. I wish somebody would convey to the select board anytime somebody comes in for a, a an article to build, let's say they go around this, they just want to build this gazebo. The select board says, say, we'll give you $5,000 to come in with some plans. This whole library, this whole senior citizen could have been averted if, if they had just some pre-planning, right. except they felt... Well, that doesn't happen in time. It does not happen. Well, period in the subject. I'm reading. The select it's board, it's even though people, it's by petition. I'm sorry, we're not going to allow this building proposal for a new high school to go through until we have. We'll here. We'll give you twenty-five thousand dollars to come up with some plans, and we'll. It's, so okay, so we can word we can word the cemetery vote as such that the CTA committee recommends as extending. Are you making a motion? No, I'm not. I'm with or this. telling the chairman what to do? No, I'm not. I'm just doing what you've been talking about. No, no, no. Yeah, and, but we could we could in our motion we could say providing we have the information available. And if that information isn't available, then they don't get it. Simple as that. You know, it's not. I don't think so. Anyway. Well, I tell everybody, first you get money for the plan, yes. then you get money for the project. That's great. And that's what great I was going to tell him. And he gets pissed because, of, you know, he didn't have any plans. And he wasn't supported. So. No, he wasn't supported. No. Yeah, I don't know. It, be speculative, but I think that not having the sponsoring organization here put him in the Yeah. All right. All right. Move, we adjourn. Uh, wait, was there anything else? Oh, oh, one so, so let me just ask one other thing. Do you want me to do one motion for those three particular unrealized projects? Okay. Or should we just. That was what I had in mind. Oh, well, please, run it by me again. Probably have more. It, it was the library. The North Hadley Hall Foundations, the Russell School Gauges. Um, yeah, and it wouldn't be on the spreadsheet. Right now. Uh, Tata Gauges Foundation. There is a fourth. Well, it'll come to you. You'll get back to me. I'm not going to play back. <laughs>
Um, and then I'll have some draft one articles for everybody to look at in two weeks. Thank you. Wasn't there extra money from the the doors, the town hall? They gave us that money back. Okay. Well, we voted to accept it back, but no one's ever seen the I don't know the piece of paper that said it went from where it was to where it was supposed to be. That was when Linda Sanderson said, well, you never gave us the money, so that why should we have to give it back to you? Right. Well, that's something, so that's something the answer we're going to have to figure out. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, what I see is, is, so she never gave us the money. Right? She so never gave it, us it's, a it's document. It's in the budget. So let's talk about, like, the canceled check, right? Right. All right. So you have it in your pending, right? And, and you, you keep writing it off, writing it off, carrying it. Well, okay. Well, this is not going to go through. It's canceled. We're going to cancel. What do you do with the kid? What do you do with that check? It's still in your budget, right? You have to you add it back in. Right. Well, you don't. Or you can. Well, you, you, okay. Or you just rip it up. There's nothing. Okay, that was why we started implementing the sunset clause in the projects. This was before that. We never had it. We just assumed that. If, we, if CPA gave you money, you'd spend it. Mm -hmm. People don't do that. They don't spend it. So we have $2 million, say we have $2 million yeah. in, in yeah. our, okay. our balance, right? So maybe with an outstanding, we might have, let's say. There's $348,000 in outstanding. On outstanding, right? Yeah. So, so we don't have $2 million to spend. We got two million dollars minus three hundred forty-eight thousand yeah. to spend. And, and say there's ten thousand that's not ever going to get spent. So now we have instead of three, you know, yeah. three hundred and forty-eight thousand, we have three hundred and thirty-eight thousand. Yeah. So I mean, it's really there's I don't see that she's going to give you a piece of paper that voted it, right? She's well. well They're I, just going to take I'm it out out of our our pending that we have to save for. It's it's just. Well, I would I would like to see that the. Special account was closed and the money was transferred back into wherever. Because are they like in, you're, you're, you're saying, because those are surprise GLs. Each one they create a new GL for of some type of thing. I think so. And they have it pending in that spot. So you're thinking you want to see some type of uh, something. Sure. I think taxpayers want to see the proof. Well, that I, think the the town ta I think that goes with the town. I think that that was at because it was voted for and it's in record saying that it was moved back or given back. Well, a lot of things Maybe. are voted, voted on and don't have Well, that's true, but how, there's a whole list of things, like I said, about maybe we didn't spend this fire truck, we didn't need to spend 125, we only spent 100. So where's that 25 going? It's the same type of thing. We just didn't use it, right? We but voted on it in the beginning, but we didn't use it. So it was in the list saying we're going to but they uh, that that money was appropriated up to that amount. Now we didn't spend that money, so right. then now we have to give it back. So that's really creating a paper trail of how the money move we adjourn goes from point A to point B. All right, we'll continue this discussion in two weeks. Second, two weeks. All right. Second. All right, we're adjourned.